Today, we're gonna to talk about the fastest way to become a web developer and earn $100,000 a year. Now, a lot of people want to become software developers, and there's a good reason why. You get paid way above average. Typically, the software developer on average makes between 94 and 100K a year after three years of experience. Some may get there faster, some may get there slower, but the opportunity is there to make well north of $100,000 a year. Now, currently, I believe there's only three ways that you can become a software developer. The first way is the traditional route. We go to college, we spend four to five years in college or university, and we learn about computer science things. We get our computer science degree, and then we move into a software development job. There's also the self-paced route. Now the self-paced route is enticing to a lot of people because of the cost involved. The self-paced route, you can do that typically for sometimes nothing, but you can expect to spend between a thousand to two thousand in different courses or self-paced courses so that you can teach yourself on your own schedule. Now, unlike college, a self-paced route, we believe will take between maybe nine months to one year to do, while college would take four years to do. Now, the other way is the boot camp route, and that's what Coder Founder does. We are a .NET coding boot camp, and we teach people to code in 12 weeks. Most boot camps have different lengths of time in which they do it. But for the purpose of this, let's talk about the 12 week full time boot camp, and that's three months. And so, can you learn to code and get a job inside of three months? We believe that you can learn how to code in three months, but let's say it takes you three extra months on top of that to learn how to interview and maybe go through the interview process and landing a job. Now, here's the things that we think you should know after all of these learning endeavors to maximize your job capabilities. Number one, you should build a portfolio of projects. Now, whether you go to college, you go to a self-paced course, or you go to a boot camp, you need to undertake the effort of building portfolio and having projects to show someone during the interview. The second thing that you need to do is to acquire interview skills. Now, this may be something that's additional to the boot camp or an additional course that you have to take in the self-paced course, or maybe something additional you do even outside of college. Very few colleges are offering interview skills and some boot camps try to, but they really don't train you that well on that. And so that is something additional that you may have to do. So you've got a portfolio, you've got interview skills. Now, the one thing about college in the self-paced route and the boot camp route is the quit factor. The longer we take time to learn something, the more likely something may get in our way of finishing our task. That could be a, an unexpected life change or something like that that gets in the way that causes you to either delay or quit entirely your search to be a software developer. Now we're gonna assume that none of those things happen, okay? And so let's say that we go on the optimal track. We study at a boot camp for 12 weeks or we go to a self-paced course and it takes us about six to nine months of study before we're really job ready or we can go to a college which could take at least four years, but typically four to five years of study there to be job ready for you and start interviewing in the job market. So let's look what happens after year one. So depending on how you decided to learn how to code or the ones you're considering, let's look at what happens after year one. Now, after year one, we're still in school. We maybe put on the freshen 15 pounds. We've probably ate too much junk food, maybe attended a few too many parties, but we're definitely not looking for a job yet. We still have three more years to go, and we've probably spent around 40K, considering that the average cost of tuition for a four-year degree is around $100,000, $120,000. If we're going the self-paced route, at the end of year one, we've probably finished our coding education around nine months and we're just now getting ready to get our very first job at the beginning of the next year so after year one we've probably spent about 1200 bucks but we haven't quite landed a role yet and if we look at the boot camp assuming that we went for 12 weeks like we do at coder founder we spent three weeks three months in our job search so after six months um, we can land a job and let's say that we make somewhere around 60K and that's the average salary we see coming over a bootcamp for someone in and around the Midwest. Could be higher, could be lower depending on where you live and your, and your background. But let's say you made 60K coming out of it and your bootcamp costs 15,000. So if you have a $30,000 salary for that first half year minus the 15, you actually made 15 grand to the good for that year. 
Hey, if you're here learning how to code and you're not getting as far as you would like, maybe you should consider getting a teacher, a coach, or a mentor to help you along the way. At Coder Founder, we'd be honored to help you into that first software job by teaching you.net, one of the most in-demand web development frameworks there is. So go to learn.coderfoundry.com, get a teacher, get a coach, and learn how to code and get that first software job. So now let's look at year two and what we can expect. So if we're in a college, we're still in our sophomore year, attending more parties, gaining more weight, um, and we're spending another 40,000. So we've spent about 80,000 our education so far. While we've learned a lot of things, maybe things even outside of a pure coding curriculum with our liberal arts education, and we've had a lot of fun, we're still not quite job ready yet. Now, if we look at the self-paced person at this point, you should have been in your first role. And so let's say you got a role similar to a bootcamp grad, you're making around 60K for your first year. So now what we can see is I spent $1,200 on my education, it took me a little longer to get there, but now I'm making um, the same job that the bootcamp grad had. I'm making about 60K per year, and that's a good thing. Now, if we look at the bootcamp grad, somewhere between the, the one year mark, which puts us halfway through um, year one in our software career, we can start looking for other roles or we're looking for increases in our salary. And we see this commonly from a lot of our developers that in year two of their career, they, they go out and take a bump and pay typically between 10 or $15,000 a year. So you can expect to make from between 70 and $80,000 a year in your second role. Now, if that isn't your case, maybe you're at this a company that you like or maybe you just haven't looked around to see what your opportunities are but i can guarantee you in your second row will be a whole lot easier to find than it was your first row so if you're in the second year of your career as a bootcamp grad you should be looking for that first big bump in pay and maybe that first move to another company So what does this look like after year three? Well, if you're in college, you're still in school. The self-paced person, now you're looking to get that one year experience and spin that into your second job. And you can look at making somewhere between 70 and 80K as a developer in your second year. The bootcamp grad, however, is about one year ahead of you and they're coming to their third role or their third jump in pay. And this is where you can approach the 100K salary range. Now, depending on your market, depending on where you live, and not everyone can hit this in three years, but we have seen a lot of bootcamp grads do this by moving and using that mobility to constantly increase their salaries as they go. Now, here's the one common thing that should give you hope. If you decide to go to college or self-pace or a coder founder grad like going to a boot camp, you need to have a commitment to craft. If you stay committed to your craft, all of these ways will lead to an eventual software job. You also need to be prepared for constant learning. The boot camp that you go to won't teach you everything, the college won't teach you everything, and you'll continually be using probably a lot of uh, self-paced um, courses to be able to improve your career as you go. But the cool thing is once you are a software developer, a lot of companies will pay you to learn the next thing. So you paying big dollars for all kinds of education is probably over as you progress in your career, you're staying committed to your craft and you're doing constant learning and your company's probably paying, the, paying you to learn the next thing. All in all, software is a fantastic career. We may be a little biased, but we feel that the bootcamp is the quickest way to market. But however, if it's out of your pay range, Hey, self-paced route is equally great. It just takes you a little longer to get there. I hope this helps. Good luck and keep coding.